Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome I'm Vanessa and this is Vanessa CX Beauty and today we're gonna be unboxing the first BoxyCharm of 2020 together. Happy New Year by the way. I am so excited to continue my BoxyCharm journey into 2020 and I cannot wait to see what they have planned for us. So if you guys are interested in what I have in my box just continue watching. Okay, so this month's theme was BoxyCharm Breaking the Ice, and I got variation number 23. So if y'all want to see that card, that is right there. Here is where you find your variation. And the first thing in my box is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. This retails for $25, and I got the shade The Middle Ground 63. Now, I did use this concealer under my eyes today, and something that I did notice is that it wasn't meant to be a brightening concealer. I did use it under my eyes. I did cover it up with an actual brightening concealer, but this shade is actually the perfect shade to my skin color, which is interesting. So I would have to use this more as a cover-up concealer and not so much as an under-eye concealer, but I am so happy that BoxyCharm is starting off the new year with complexion items. So that makes me super excited for the future since this is my perfect shade. The next item in my box is this beautiful palette right here. This is the Ace Beauté eyeshadow palette. It's called Scarlet Dusk. It retails for $34.99, $35, and this is the inside. Oh my god, this speaks to me so much. It has the oranges and the purples and the pinks, and I think this is a very me palette. One thing I will say is that the mattes are bomb 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 but these shimmers although they can be built up to be beautiful they need to be built up they are not bang 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 shimmers if y'all know what I mean they're not like Jeffree Star shimmers so the shimmers do need to be built up overall the color story is beautiful the blendability of the mattes is beautiful and I definitely approve of this palette being in the box the next thing in my box is the Skin & Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Face Gommage. I think this is supposed to be a face mask. It's an exfoliating face wash. There you go. And this retails for $28. I am always trying out new skincare to see what products do not break me out because I am more sens sensitive to skincare than I am makeup products and I've started noticing that more recently. So. I will start using this as soon as I finish the cleanser that I'm currently using. The next item I actually already own. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This is like a cult favorite. This was sold out like for the longest time before I got it and this cost $22. This is a nice moisturizing mask that you can wear overnight but if you do not like waking up with like your skin feeling like there's dead skin on it. I don't think this is the mask for you. It does smell really good. If you're sensitive to scents, I don't know how this would make you feel, but I definitely do approve of this mask. It's just a little like peeliness in the morning that I'm not too fond of. And last but not least, this is the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. It costs $16 and the one looks like a mini version of the Better Than Sex Mascara. I did use it today and although it is not lengthening, it is volumizing like it says it, will, it is. So like it lives up to its claim, but I would pair this with a different mascara if I did want to use this mascara. And this retails for $16. So that was my entire box, and this month's overall value was $126. So I do think that I am getting a bang for my buck. I am super excited to see what BoxyCharm does in the future with complexion products. I am completely and utterly satisfied with everything in my box. And that is all I have for y'all today. This was a quick video. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye.